Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat, and this time I'm going to show you a few different scenarios with the RLX tool setup that will allow you to use different types of tools. And it's a little bit more advanced, and to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't use the control this way. I think it's easier in the first scenarios that I showed you with keeping the tools all green. But there is a time when somebody maybe has a library and doesn't want to use it for a specific job, and they just want to turn the machine on, put a tool in there, and be able to do some work. And so what we did is we made some changes that would allow you to have two different types of tools. What you're gonna see right now as I go to the tool table, my home position has not been set, but I do have a library. So as normal, I would say go to DRO, touch off one of my library tools, this will turn green, everything's gonna be great. But in this case, what I'm saying is, hey, I wanna make a program, I wanna use some totally different tools, I don't care about the library. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my program as if I just made it again. And in here, I'm gonna to go to my tool table and you'll notice I'm still not set here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and start setting up my tools. So I go to my right turn phase tool, whoops, I missed. And I'm going to tell it that it's high speed and I'm gonna tell it what size it is. And when I go to my tool setup here and I touch off my part zero, you'll notice that you get this warning. And the warning says that I'm going to set a program tool offset from a different part zero than what the tools in the library were set off. So it says you can proceed, but I wanna make sure you're aware of what you're doing. I'm gonna say, okay. It says set now. I'm gonna establish my Z0, get the exact same warning. I'm gonna say, okay. And when I push the return key, you're gonna notice now that the part zero is set, but it's in a bluish gray color now. It does not say that it's set with a library tool, but it shows that your first tool is now usable. Okay, so I can go and I can take the next tool and say I've got my OD Groove tool here, it's also high speed. I put in my sizes, my width, go to my tool setup. This time it's not going to argue with me. When I tell it I'm touching one inch and Z zero, it says, okay, I get what you're doing now. You're setting up more tools to use and ignoring the library. So it'll keep that color differentiation. One more tool, OD Thread, high speed, right? Tool setup, one inch, Z zero. So now I've got three tools that I can run and I can add more tools and more tools and they'll all stay blue and I can run it this way all day long. What I can't do is select one of these tools and try to add it to the library because it's gonna tell me the tool cannot be added because it doesn't share the same part zero, okay? So it will let you use the tools but it won't let you use the library. Now there is something else that I can do in here which is uh, a scenario that I highly don't recommend, okay? but I'm gonna show it so that you understand how it works. So let's say that I could look at my tool table in my library and I go, God, you know what? I've already got a tool in here I could use for tool number one. So I go and put that in tool number one. Now I get a different banner that says warning. Part zero was set using a non-library tool. Assigning a library tool to your program tools is likely to cause a crash. Okay, it tells you what you should do is reset part zero using a library tool first and then set up your tools, okay? So even though it tells me all those warnings, it will let me do it, okay? Now, obviously, if I go to run mode now, I'm gonna have a problem because if those are two different part zeros, one of them is probably either gonna be too close or too far away from the part. So the way to fix this scenario, if you get to this point, is you're going to close your tool table, go to your DRO mode, pull up a library tool, like tool number 101, right? And then I'm going to actually physically set it. So X, one inch, Z, zero. And when I go back to my tool table, I change my part zero back to a library tool zero. So now my library tool is correct. My part zero is correct. This tool is correct. And then I can either import tools or I can simply come in here and just reset them up and say, okay, this one's at one and that's at Z, zero and you'll notice that tool is good now. I can add it to the library or not. Same thing here, or I could even come into here and say, okay, now I just wanna use that tool. Now I've back to a full green. This will work great all day long, and you won't see another blue tool unless you shut that machine off and do that process over again, okay? So I'm gonna show you a couple other scenarios on how to change it back and forth in just a moment, but once again, I have to reboot. So I'll see you in just a second. Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat, and today I'm here with the customer service department, reminding you that when you guys call in with some sort of an issue, 
One of these fine people are the ones that answer the phone and help you and get you back on your way to running and making parts. If you like the videos, don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, if you'd like to subscribe, just hit this button over here. And of course, if you'd like to watch the next video that's coming up, just hit the button over here. As always, we appreciate you watching. And most of all, and most importantly, don't forget to keep, keep on, on tracking. tracking.